Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the IEEE 754 floating point standard and how we can use that to um, encode floating point numbers into binary. So, like I just said, we're going to encode floating point numbers into binary. That's the purpose of this. Um, and in this class, we're just going to learn it for the 32-bit version, but there are also IEEE standards for 64-bit and 128-bit. Um, one interesting thing is that in C++, the 32-bit corresponds to a float data type, and 64 corresponds to a double preci precision data type. So um, when we're doing this, we're going to have three main pieces of information, the sign, exponent, and then the mantissa. Um, so we're going to just do an example and go through this step by step. So over here, you can see how we're going to actually encode this to get a total of 32 bits. So the sign is going to be the first bit, and then the exponent is going to be the next eight bits, and then the mantissa will be the last 23 bits. So if we start off with a number like negative 9.75, um, the most obvious thing that we can see here is the sign. So when the sign is negative, that means the uh, sign bit is going to be 1. So once we assign that sign bit, we can just forget about the sign and take care of the rest of the number until the end. So now we have 9.75. So the first step that we want to do is convert both sides of the decimal point into binary. So the left side is going to be 1001 for 9. And then the right side is going to be um, Sorry, so this, this place is 2 to the 0. So the first place to the right of the decimal is going to be 2 to the negative 1, and then 2 to the negative 2. So 2 to the, the highest power of 2 that will fit into 0.75 is going to be um, 2 to the negative 1, which is 0.5. So we have 0.25 left over. So the highest power of 2 that will fit into 0.25 is 2 to the negative 2, which is 0.25. OK. So we're done converting um, both sides to binary. So we get 1001.11. 1, 0, 0, 1. Um, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to float the point over to the front of the number, just like you would do for like scientific notation. So you just float it over 1, 2, 3, and you get 1.00111 1, 1 times 2 to the third. Right, 1, 2, 3, yeah. OK, so um, at this point, you can see the other two pieces of your inf or sorry, information right here. Um, so the exponent is going to be here, and then the mantissa is going to be found like right here. So let's encode the exponent next. So we have 8 bits to encode the exponent. Um, and if you remember from class, when you have this exponent here, this one is called your actual exponent. And since the standard uh, uses a biased exponent scale, to get um, the biased exponent, you have to add 127. So you have to remember that before you go to um, encode the exponent into here, you just have to add 127 to it. So once we do that, we get the exponent is going to be 130. And then we just need to write that in 8-bit binary. So that's going to be 2 to the 7. And 
and two. So it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be 128 plus two, so we get one zero 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 one zero. So uh, this part right here is going to be actually what we're gonna put into our final um, encoding up here, as well as the sign bit right here. So the last part that we need to figure out is just the mantissa part. So when we get the mantissa, so uh, maybe you would think it's this whole part right here, but um, we do something to the mantissa called normalizing it, which means that we just drop the front one off of it so that we could fit more bits in later. Um, we just assume that it's implicit. Uh, so what this is going to turn out to be for the mantissa So the normalized mantissa will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. We just drop that first one. And then we just add enough bits here to make this 23 bits. So if we want to put it all together, um, maybe we can do that up here. So uh, remember that. Our sign bit was 1, so we're going to have a 1 here. And then we'll just copy our exponent up here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then our mantissa, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. So to, uh, you just add zeros to the end of it to 23 bits. And then a common way that uh, this gets written is in hexadecimal. So for hexadecimal, we just want to separate it into packets of four. So our final answer would be hex C, 1, 1, C, 0, 0, 0, 0.